Now you know you so-called white people got an ass whooping coming to you, right? I'd like to start off by saying Barak Tayhawa, by Hashem Yahweh Now you know you so-called white people got it. Welcome to another live uh, lesson. The name of this one is Now You Know. And pretty much that's a statement <clears throat> that's being made towards Esau. You know, and they should know better. Um, what you're looking at before you is fair use notice. This video is for educational purposes and not intended for any monetary gain. Um, I'm going to play a video on this. Uh, Lord's will, they don't, you know, get rid of this video. But uh, pretty much, you brothers already know, pretty much based off of what I said at the beginning, what this is going to be about. Um, this is pretty much about the justice that the Lord Yahweh Bashem is going to bring upon Esau for the things that they've done to Jake you know and these devils they blatantly just do shit you know you've seen what happened we know that ultimately it's the Lord that's uh jacking Jake up because Jake is rebellious you know but still this the, the hammer that he's using the the sword that he's using to uh judge Jake is going to be also used to uh, to jack up um, to jack Esau, up, you know, for the things that he's um, that he's doing to Jake. Um, just to like, I'm just trying to pull up this video that I was watching. Um, the elders of uh, of the Connecticut camp elders, Tazia one. Uh, Elder Tata Doc by Elder Desire one. In line with the... You know, um, they, they did a lesson called It's Getting Hot. Uh, Elder Yatan uploaded it to his uh, channel. Um, I didn't get a chance to put this in the description box. I was watching, as you can see, about 14 minutes in. And along with the different videos I've been watching and the different things that have been going on, I just put it in the description box for you brothers. Um... Esau pretty much is just doing whatever the hell he wants to do. And that's the Lord pushing it, the left hand, you know, but it's also the Jack Jacob. So let's let's watch this video. Let's see, um, and let's take it from there, see where the spirit leads it. There is an African American man. I am in Central Park. He is recording me and threatening myself and my dog. Hey, if you have been on social media today, you have likely seen this. A Central Park confrontation went viral, netting more than 25 million views. In it, a white woman appears to call police, accusing a black man of threatening her after he asked her to put her dog on a leash. Mayor de Blasio sounded off, too, calling it, quote, racism, plain and simple. News Force, Miles Miller's in Central Park with the new avalanche of backlash. I'm going to tell them there's an African-American man threatening my life. Tonight, the woman who called police on a black man. And, and pretty much, you know, y'all have already seen this video. And, you know, this is this is the spirit of these devils. See, you you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians out there, you think that just because these devils smile in your face and you got a job right next to them and that they are cool with you, that that, that, that de demonic spirit of hate has gone. That demonic spirit of hate goes all the way back to the beginning, man. I don't know what, what your problem is. You know, here it is. This devil done done all different types of shit to you. You know, since 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 before you so-called Negroes, uh, 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 West Indians and, and Haitians came to the to America in cargo slave ships, which all are the southern kingdom. When the northern kingdom was here, these devils are doing the same thing. This is the same goddamn devil from the beginning. He has not changed and he's not going to change. You know, I don't know what your problem is. You know, here it is, you're thinking that this devil is, 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 is your friend. He's not your motherfucking friend. He's not your friend. It's, it's fucking ridiculous. How, how, much, how, much, uh, uh, how much does this devil have to show you that he's not your friend? How much shit does he have to do to, so you can finally realize that this devil is not your friend? Whether it be a so-called white man or a so-called white woman, they're all the same goddamn devil. And they're not going to change. This is something that went all the way back to the beginning of the creation of, of uh, uh, Jacob and Esau. This is Genesis 25 and 23. It says, And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb. So in, in Rebekah's womb, there were two children. There wasn't two whole nations. There were two children. 
that were going to make two nations. And these two nations were going to be separated. These two nations were going to be struggling. These two nations were going to be fighting. They were never meant to get along. You don't see the so-called white man jumping up and asking for, for uh, uh, equal rights with Jake's. You don't see them jumping up and wanting uh, everything to be cool with, with you so-called Negroes out there. But yet, you so-called Negroes uh, uh, jump up, you tribe of Judah, especially the tribe of Judah, jumps up and always wants to be accepted by these goddamn devils, man. I don't know what your fucking problem is. You're always looking for acceptance from this bastard. And that's what he is, a goddamn bastard, man. Let's go to Jeremiah 2. And 33, it says, Why trimmest thou thy ways to seek love? Therefore hast thou also taught the wicked ones thy ways. So you're trimming your ways to, uh, to seek love. You're looking to be loved by this bastard. This guy is, listen, this guy is a base man. These people are base people. They are below us. They are our servants. They are our uh, slaves on the loose. Why are you so worried about getting their approval? Why is it every time that a so-called Negro, Latino, Native American Indian teaches the Bible as a, a plantation Christian, they're not worried about the Chinese or the Japanese or the Africans or any other nation. They're always worried about accepting the so-called white man into salvation. What the fuck is wrong with y'all, man? What the fuck is wrong with y'all? What's your major malfunction? Genesis 25, 23. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner. Do you understand what two manner of people is? Two manner of people. Let's look up the word manner. The word manner is shanayam. Two, two, the cardinal number two, second in combination with other numbers, both a dual number. So it's going to be two nations. Two manner of people. And when you look up the word manner... Let's go back. When you look up the word manner itself, let's see if we can pull something up. When you look up the word manner itself, it says a way in which a thing is done or happens, a person's outward bearing or way of behaving towards others. And this is how they were going. This is the angel is pretty much breaking down to Isaac and Rebecca of these two children that are in them, that are the, the way that they're going to be and the way that their, their, their characteristics are going to be. It says, And two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. So from the moment, e even when they're inside of you, they're going to be separated. As soon as they are born, they're going to be separated because the Most High, the Heavenly Father, the God of the Bible, He is a separatist. He is a separatist, contrary to popular belief. And the word is bar uh, parad, to separate, divide. So they were going to be separated, divided. It says, and the one people shall be stronger than the other people. You see that. You see how the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians are, are much stronger, physically, spiritually, mentally, than Esau. <laughs> they can't deal with the hardships that Jake can deal with. Beginning with, with uh, Judah all the way down to Issachar. They can't deal with that. They're not spiritual like... like uh, uh, the only, You see why you, you see these so-called white people going to church? Some of them, you know, they, they may be jakes that look like white people. But some of them are doing that because they believe in their heart of hearts that the Heavenly Father and their Son are so-called white men. That's the only reason why they do that. If they knew beyond a shadow of a doubt that the Heavenly Father and His Son were so-called black men, I guarantee... That they will not be going to church. They will not be even touching the Bible. You trying to undermine the Most High, man. The Most High said that the two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. And the elder shall serve the younger. And when the days to be delivered were fulfilled. Behold, there were twins in her womb. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. Where's that other part? Did I miss something? 
Okay, this is what I missed. I'm sorry. Let me start at the 21st verse. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren, and the Lord was entreated of him, and Rebekah, his wife, conceived. And the children struggled together within her. So this fight, why did this happen? Because the two children that were inside of Rebekah's womb, those two spirits were two uh, uh, spirits of, of, uh, of total opposites. It was total opposites. And there was a hatred there, an enmity that was all was that goes all the way back to the Garden of Eden. Go all the way back to the curse that the Lord put on the serpent. This is Genesis 3 and 15. And I will I started 14. And the Lord power said unto the serpent. This was an actual man in the garden. That the Lord said that hit this serpent's seed. And the seed of the woman, meaning Adam's seed that he was going to impregnate uh, uh, Eve with. It says, because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle and above every beast of the field. And upon thy belly shalt thou go and thus shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. And no one else has an atrocious, low history, shameful history as Esau up in the caves grunting. You know? That's a low base history that belongs to them because this is a part of that curse that was going to come upon them. But yet here it is, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, you want to receive a base man's approval. You want to receive the beast man's approval. You want to receive a low guy on the totem pole's approval because they're in power right now. But there's a reason why they're in power right now. It's called prophecy. It says, and I will put enmity between thee and the woman. And so this enmity is this animosity, this hatred. This constant going at each other's neck. This constant ap apathetic uh, spirit that Esau has had against uh, Judah, Benjamin and Levi and the rest of the tribes. That's an apathetic spirit. To be able to put your neck on somebody's uh, that's already subdued uh, and put your foot uh, their neck, your knee on their neck until they die. That's an apathetic spirit that goes back to that enmity. You're gonna learn. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and American Indians out there. You're gonna learn that this goddamn devil is just that—the devil. You're gonna learn, and you're gonna learn the fucking hard way. Jacob's trouble is coming. We're in the beginning stage of it, but it's coming. And it's going to get bad. And you're going to know beyond the shadow of a doubt that this motherfucker is the goddamn devil that the Bible speaks of. Then you're going to be like, yeah, you were right, man. This is so go away, man. This is the devil. No fucking shit. The fuck you think the, the Lord's been telling y'all all this time through the mouth of his prophets? Ayaba. Enmity. Hatred. They do not like you. They do not want to be around you. They do not want... The only thing they want you to do is dance, sing, and entertain them. And serve them. That's the only thing you could do for them. When you see them and they're smiling in your face, that's all bullshit. That is a goddamn lie. Never trust thine enemy. Now this fucking bullshit is starting to act up. It says, And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, meaning that the serpent seed, which was an actual man, and the seed that was in the woman, Eve, that was she was impregnated by Adam, there was going to be a hatred put between those two. And we're reading about it during the, the uh, uh, beginnings or the genesis of Jacob and Esau. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, and the so-called white man. So you can understand. And between thy seed and her seed, and it shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. And they're, they're, we're still at the mercies of these devils right now. And you ain't seen nothing yet. You ain't seen nothing yet. But you're going to see, you're going to learn. <laughs> you're going to learn. But it's going to be too late for a lot of you. Genesis 25, 22, and the children struggled together within her. This is that enmity that the Lord put between those two seeds. 
This is why Cain killed Abel. That enmity that the Lord put in between them. Don't you get it? Don't you understand? And she said, if it be so, why am I thus? So if, if she's pregnant, if she got blessed to get pregnant as she wanted to because she was barren and her husband went to inquire of the Lord to see why she couldn't get pregnant and she did conceive and got pregnant, why is this struggle going on in my stomach between these, these uh, children? What's going on? And she went to inquire of the Lord and the Lord said unto her, two nations are in thy womb. So there's two people that are going to make up two different nations. And two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. There was never meant to be any goddamn integration. There was, this was not supposed to be no goddamn integration. The Most High didn't make integrations. The Most High made separations. Going all the way back to the beginning. When the nations were created. Why do you think there were nations in different... Uh, uh, there were peoples in different nations. Because the Most High set it up that way from the beginning. Deuteronomy 32 and 8. When the Most High, not man, not the Bill of Rights, not the uh, pro uh, Emancipation Proclamation, not the Equal Rights, not the NAACP, not none of that bullshit. When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance. So the Most High gave these nations their land when he separated the sons of Adam. So there was a separation from the beginning of all nations, especially between the nation of Israel and the nation of Edom. And no matter how many times the Lord tells you through the mouth of his prophets, you're just not going to listen. Until it's too late. It says, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. For the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is a lot of his inheritance. So the Most High divided these nations. So who the fuck are you to try to uh, integrate them? Want to drink out of the same goddamn fountain as that dog? Don't you know them motherfuckers are disgusting and nasty? And the one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. So we already dealt with that. So there was a separation. There's a, there's a hatred. And these devils are devilish. And that devil tree of theirs goes all the way back from their birth. There is no soundness or goodness in these people. Do you understand the words that they are the devil that the Bible speaks of? They are the children of Satan. They are not here to do the right thing. They are not here to love you. They are not here to get along with you. They do not love you. They do not care about you. Matthew chapter 13 verse 38. The field is the world. The good seed are the children of the kingdom which are the Israelites. But the tares are the children of the wicked one. Meaning Satan. Esau, the so-called white man. And all you got to do is go into and, and, and check out their history. Since they've been in power, what have they done? Deceive, cheat, lie, rape, rob, murder. And the list goes on and on and on. But here it is, you think that they're your friends, that they're cool with you. Because they say, hey, what's going on? What's going on, Jack, at the job? But but that, that, that dude... That, that uh, put his knee, that cop that put his knee in Jake's uh, 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 neck till he died, that's their, that's, that's their true spirit. This skeezer right here, that's their true spirit. I'm going to tell him that an African American has threatened me and my dog. And like people were saying, she was, she was choking the goddamn dog. And then, and then she's saying that she's being harassed, but she was doing the advancing. All he was doing was recording her because she did not have her dog on the leash. And that was breaking the law. He just told her, put your dog on the leash. Had that been the other way around, forget about it. Fuck Esau. Straight up. Psalms 58 and 1. To the chief musician, uh, it says, Do ye indeed speak righteousness, O congregation? You so-called white people, you Edomites, you do not speak righteousness. It is not 
in you to speak righteousness. It is you don't have a, a righteous bone in your body. The word righteous and, and Edomite should not be in the same sentence ever. Because you were created to be the wicked. Do ye ju judge uprightly, O ye sons of men? And no, you do not judge uprightly. And why do you not judge uprightly? Because you do not follow what is written in the scriptures. Because you do not follow instructions. Um, is that Nahum or is that Habakkuk 1? Let me see. Let me check Nahum. So lock here. <clears throat> okay, let me try it like this. Oh man, I'm trying to think of that scripture. Therefore, the law is slack, or something like that. Okay, it's, I don't think it's Nahum. Right here, Habakkuk one and four. Therefore, the law is slacked, and judgment doth never go forth. For the wicked doth compass about the righteous, therefore wrong judgment proceedeth. So they're not righteous. They're not here to do righteousness. So get that out of your, your head. Get it out of your head. But you ain't. You ain't. You think this skeezer right here loves you. You think this demon, this devil, this pale demon here loves you. You're going to learn. You're going to learn. Psalms 58 and 2, yea, in heart ye work wickedness. So in the mind, in their mind, they work wickedness. Whenever you see their mouth flapping, when they flapping their gums, that's when you know that they're lying. As soon as they open their mouth, you know that nothing but lies is popping out. One after the other. Here it is, they're making you feel good, you know, making you comfortable. But really in the back of their mind, they just, I wish this motherfucker would get away from me. I wish this nigga or this spick would get away from me. They don't, they do not like us. It says, ye weigh the violence of your hands in the earth. And who, who's, when you look around the planet, who's the one that's fucking with everybody? Who's going around the world fucking with everybody? Esau. You don't see the, the, all these different nations going around from nation to nation and, and, and fucking with people. It's Esau. It's the wicked. The wicked. The wicked are estranged from the womb. The word estranged is a war, which means an actual stranger. They're estranged. And what are they estranged to? They're estranged to righteousness. Excuse me. This is why the scriptures call them Babylon the Great, the abominations of the earth, or the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. Let me get that real quick. Kind of... I, I, not kind of, I butchered it. Let me read that again. I mean, let me read it. Revelation 17 and 5. And upon her forehead was the name written, Mystery, Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. They are the mother of harlots. They are estranged from the womb. They are the wicked. That's why the law is slacked and judgment never goes forth. You, you expecting justice from these devils, you're not going to get it. Because our justice is going to come from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Let's go to Luke 17, 18, and, uh, and um, 6. And the Lord said, Hear what the unjust judge saith, and shall not the Most High avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them. So it's the Most High that's going to avenge us. He's the one that's going to give us true justice and judgment. Because these devils that are ruling are the devil. They only look out for themselves and barely even that. So let's go back. Uh, I said, it's, it's like, it said, I tell you, he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth. So going back to Psalms, chapter 58 and 3, the wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born speaking lies. These devils are the devil. They go astray. 
The word for astray is tha'ai. To err, wonder, go astray, stagger. They do not follow the scriptures. They do not follow instructions. From the moment that they're born to the moment that they die, they are not the people of the Lord. They are not connected to the Bible. These so-called white people that you see that are fervent and devout to the to the to the words to the to the scriptures, it's because the, either two things: either they're jakes or they were paid off to do that. So going back, the wicked are estranged as soon as they. Uh, sorry, the wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Their poison, which is what their lies. Their philosophies. This plantation Christianity that you so-called Negroes and Latinos and Native American Indians and these plantation churches are pushing, that love doctrine, that accept all nations, guess where that comes from? That's the poison of this devil that he's been pushing on you. That's a part of that deception. That's a part of that blasphemy that the beast pushes out in the book of Revelation, the 13th chapter and others. That's what it is. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. That is their, the words that they speak, the promises that they make, the philosophies and religions that they push. Psalms 55 and 20, uh, 20, 20, yeah. He that he hath put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him, he hath broken his covenant. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. Who the fuck do you think that's talking about? That's talking about Esau, the Edomites. It says, Psalms 58 and 4, Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. They are like the deaf adder that stoppeth their ears. They are not going to listen. They will not accept. They will not accept the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, and they will not accept you. Get that through your thick skull. You big boneheads out there. That are always bending over backwards to, to, to uh, uh, accept these people and, and want them to accept you so bad. Like if you don't have their love or their approval, then, then you're, you're, you're just, you just are not uh, uh, fit for society in your mind. They're nothing but the goddamn devil that the Bible speaks of, man. Which will not hearken into the voice of charmers, charming never so wisely. So you you got to pay, man. Uh, Jeremiah thirteen twenty three. Can the Ethiopian change his skin or the leopard his spots? Then may you do also do good that are accustomed to do evil. That's what you were created for to do evil, and you must you must pay. You must pay, and you are going to pay. And this is why they have a problem with the Hebrew Israelites, and they're trying to demonize us because we're telling you what the Lord says out of the Bible. And you can't take it. Oh, you dished it out. Oh, you dished it out. Oh, yeah. Oh, sure, you sure did. You oh, you dished it out. You did. You you actually you went overboard. As the scripture said, you went overboard with it. But now you got to pay. Jeremiah forty nine and twelve. For thus saith the Lord. For thus saith the Lord. Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunk. And who is that? The Israelites, so called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians. We drank of that cup. And now thou he that shall altogether go unpunished. So the Most High is asking Esau, are you going to go unpunished? We had to drink it. Are you going to go unpunished? Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. And you're going to gulp it down. You'll be gulping it every day, huh? Inside joke. Obadiah chapter 1, verse 15. For the day of the Lord is near upon all, all the heathen, as thou hast done... It shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thine own head. So you got to pay. For as you have drunk upon my holy mountain, so shall all the heathen drink continually. So whatever y'all did to us, that's what you got to go. That's what you got to go to. Go through. Yea, they shall drink and they shall swallow down. Because you're going to gulp it. You're going to drink it. This is going to be forced on you. There's not going to be anything you could do to get out of it. And they shall be as though they had not been. Meaning you're going to be slaves. You're not going to be an entity. You're not going to be a recognized power. 
You're not going to be a sovereign. You're not going to have a, 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 a flag for yourself, you know, showing you some, some type of dignity or some type of royalty or, lo or, or, or royalty. No regalness to you. You're going to be nothing but a slave. So you're going to be as though you don't even exist. And then after a thousand years of slavery, hardcore slavery, then you're going to be burnt up and you're going to be forgotten. How do you like them apples? Exodus 21, 16. And he that stealeth the man, which y'all did, and selleth him, which y'all did, or if he be found in his hand, which we still in your hands, through these adhesion contracts. That's a, that's a binding contract that you made a sign deceitfully to make us voluntary slaves. Because according to the 13th Amendment of the Constitution, uh, uh, no, you're not supposed to have um, uh, 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 slavery. Any forced slavery on anybody. So that's why it's all voluntary. And the way you did it was you did it through contracts. It says, he shall surely be put to death. Let me read that again. And he that stealeth the man and selleth him. This is what the Lord says. Or if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death. So you're, the penalty for what you've done is pretty much death. So you're going right now through the sentencing stages. That's it. You're going through the sentencing stages. And now you got to pay for what, you, what your forefathers did, which is what you did. You did this, okay? Inside joke. All right, let's go to Isaiah 14 and 21. We prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers. Why? Because you are your father's coming back. So you're being prepared now for slaughter for what you did in the past as your forefathers. You're being prepared right now. You're being prepped. This is why the Lord got, the, the, got us out there, the prophets out there, telling you to your face, reading it from the scriptures, what's going to happen to you in the near future. What's going to happen to you when the Lord comes back and establishes us back up on the earth. He's got us telling you. The sentences are being given out. And after the sentence comes what? The judgment. The gavel is about this, this uh, crash down on the planet. The gavel of Yahweh Bashim Al is about to come crashing down soon. Once the, the rest of these prophecies are fulfilled. It says that they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities. Why? Because when they've done that, as you see, there's nothing but deceit, rape, rob, murder. You know? The, the, the tainting of the food, the destruction of the earth. The destruction of the animal, the destruction of, of marriage, the destruction of 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 of, uh, of, um, of gender, the destruction of the Most High's creation, the rainbow. So you got you got to be put down. That's the only solution. The only solution is for you to be put down because you have proven yourself not. To be capable or responsible enough to run the earth. Because look at the state you have the earth in. That's what the Lord said. He's going to destroy them that destroy the earth. So what, all we're doing is telling you what the Lord is going to do to you. And you're mad about that. You're upset about that. You got your panties in a bunch because you, you fucked up. And we're telling you you fucked up. And we're telling you what the Lord is going to do to you for you fucking up. And you mad at us. You try to demonize us. You try to send clowns like Volcat Malone, that devil. And others. To try to make this thing look bad. Try to make this thing look like a carnal group. Along with other clowns like that that dude, uh, Jam Master J or whatever the fuck his name is. That's talk, now he's talking about, you know, getting at Esau, you know, getting at these devils, but then he mentioned the Edomites. That's all the tactics of the devil, demonization. That's all you devils got. You don't have a bone of righteousness in you. You don't have anything to stand for except for wickedness. And the only way you know how to fight is through deception, through making somebody look bad so that the rest of the world can look at when when you when you come down on us, the rest of the world can be like, good. But it's going to backfire on you too. You assholes out there too. You international bankers. It's going to backfire on you too, man. 
So prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their father. So just deal with it. We had to deal with it. We're still dealing with it. You got to deal with it. That they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the earth with cities. Revelation 13, 9 and 10. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity, what is captivity? Slavery. Who led who into captivity? Irkmol. Let me. I can't. I can't. Strong's G 161. Achmalosia. 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 Captivity. What is captivity if you don't understand? Slavery. Let's look, let's look it up in the common dictionary. Captivity. The condition of being imprisoned or confined. Pretty much slavery. Custody. Incarceration. Internment. Confinement. Imprisonment. Servitude. Enslavement. Subjugation. Uh, subjection. Duress. So, going back, he that leadeth into captivity, so if you lead someone into captivity, all we got to do is type in slavery, what's going to come up? A bunch of pictures of you, so-called white people, putting the so-called black people in slavery, which are the Israelites. And then when you, when you do research, you'll see that the so-called Indians that were here, you also put them in captivity, stole their lands, forced them, forced, forced them to work on their own on the own lands that, that belong to their forefathers, what you which you enslaved them on. So he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. It's just plain and simple. He that killeth with the sword, which you've killed with the sword, you've killed with the ancient sword, and you kill with the modern day sword. And you're still doing it to this day. So he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. This is what we're waiting for. We're waiting for the Lord to, to uh, destroy you, put us in, uh, set us up in the kingdom, and give us the power over you so that we can exact our vengeance on you when the kingdom of heaven is established. And that's it. Payback's a motherfucking bitch. You know? So you see this, the, the madness going on over here. In Central Park after an argument about her unleashed dog has been fired by the investment firm where she worked. It was unacceptable. Amy Cooper apologized for her behavior last night in an exclusive interview with News 4. First of all, fuck you and your apology. You can shove it up your ass, bitch. The only reason why you're doing it is because you got caught, your, bi your bitch ass got fired. You're hoping that by you... Uh, apologize and they'll give you that stupid ass job back. I hope, I hope you don't, I hope, I hope you get sickle cell, bitch. So lucky, I just had to throw that in there. That's a inside joke for one of those, uh, one of those, uh, um, Richard Pryor things. So lucky, you know, uh, brothers out there, I know some brothers are dealing with it. I'm just trying to be a little funny with it, but so lucky if, if, you know, if it was in bad taste. Uh, so but, I, but basically, fuck you and your goddamn apology, bitch. In a tweet, Cooper's employer, Franklin Templeton Investments, saying they don't tolerate racism of any kind. Please don't come close to me. The incident started after... See, and the, and the Jake even said, please don't come close to me. So how is that threatening? If he does, if, if he, bitch, you better get the fuck away from me. I could understand that. But he said, please don't come next, uh, next to me. Birdwatcher Christian Cooper asked Amy Cooper, no relation, to leash her dog in a wooded area of the park where my... Oh, so he's a, he's a bird watcher. Okay, that explains it. Territory ...birds are known to seek refuge. Video going viral with Mayor Bill de Blasio... When she was pretty much lynching her dog. ...in, sorry, calling it racism, plain and <clears throat> simple. People in the ramble today are, agreed. Uh, people need to be especially concerned about having uh, civil discourse with each other in these times. Cooper told News 4 he spoke out because he's cognizant of what's happened in the past when police are called on unarmed black men. We live in an age of Ahmed Arbery where, you know, black men are shot, gunned down because of the presumptions that people make about. New tonight, we've learned that state lawmakers introduced a bill that would make it a... So, you know, hey, brothers, y'all see what's going on. And we could go on and on and on with this topic, but I think this is a good uh, time to end it. 
This has been Now You Know. You know, and pretty much these devils know they got an ass whooping coming to them. They know they got to pay for that shit. And that's why they get nervous. That's why they're trying to do everything that they can to try to get out of their punishment that they have to serve. But you're not going to get out of it. You're going to have to deal with it like we had to deal with it. So with that, I pray that your brothers have been edified. To the next time I say, Shalom, and through water for all the comments. And the, the comment board was on fire. If I would have read all them comments, or all the um, scriptures that you brothers put on the comment board, we'd have been here probably till tomorrow morning. You know, and Tawada, brothers, Tawada, you know, uh, great Tawada to you for uh, uh, putting those comments and those scriptures up there. Shalom. Payback's a motherfucking bitch. You know? So you see this, the, the madness going on over here. In Central Park, after an argument about her unleashed dog, has been fired by the investment firm where she worked. It was unacceptable. Amy Cooper apologized for her behavior last night in an exclusive interview with News 4. First of all, fuck you and your apology. You can shove it up your ass, bitch.